welcome back welcome back to your favorite youtube channel baby before you get into this video don't forget to click subscribe like subscribe and comment thank you on today's episode you already know we're gonna be spilling some hot on some really interesting topics like how to gain your first 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Guys, how do you let your best friend know that their partner is toxic? What are some ways that you can build some confidence? Also on this episode, we're gonna play a game to get to know her and myself on a deeper level. So yeah. stay tuned, baby, because we got lots of fun, lots of info, and lots of tea coming your way in the next 20 minutes. Yes. told me how to order it I had to order it if you didn't catch that vlog check it out it's really funny right here since we are going back home we are gonna take a little break from our episodes but that doesn't mean we're not gonna be posting our vlogs Absolutely. and also just other little snippets of our past episodes so yeah, especially if you guys are new here you know we have played lots of fun games you have done lots of fun sketches and gave some really good tea on some juicy topics so we will be reposting our favorite ones mm -hmm. during the time that we're gone for a couple weeks. Just because we haven't mentioned it the past couple of weeks, obviously we're still supporting the Black Lives Matter movement and it's still going on and it's on a phase and we're, everyone's still fighting for that change as well. I posted this video on my Instagram story at Kimmy G with two eyes and it was this teacher I can't really remember exactly when I think like in the 50s she taught this class of white kids and she told her class like it's National Brothers Week like we're celebrating that and then she told everyone like who do we not treat like our brothers and they said yeah the black people and the Indians these little the whole class agreed like yeah we don't treat them like our brothers and then she like did an experiment she segregated her students by their eye color so all the kids with the brown eyes had to wear a brown collar and they got treated differently for the whole day. They didn't have extra recess, they couldn't have extra food, they were being mean and then like she recorded their academic performance and it was like so low compared to the next day where the kids with the blue eyes got treated differently. And they all felt how it feels to be discriminated against and then like on the last day she got them all together and they like got it. I feel like they should do that in every school, I really do, just to teach these kids how it feels absolutely that's way better than reading a textbook and being like this is what happened in the yeah, 40s like, yeah why don't we actually do something about yeah. it and show them how it really feels yeah because she told them she's like you guys can't control the color of your eyes just like they can't control the color of their skin like it doesn't mean someone's better yeah or smarter speaking of that Kimberly had mentioned last week to watch this movie called The Help. Mm -hmm. And I actually watched half of it last night. I was super tired, so I had to put it on pause and go to sleep. But so far, guys, especially what's going on now, it's it just really opens up that third eye of yours, you know? Yeah. And it's just, it's really sad. It's really sad that this has been going on for years and it's taking yeah. this long for actions to actually happen. And it almost makes you feel guilty. Like, we knew this was happening, but we kind of just didn't pay attention to it. And like, this movie I've seen multiple times throughout the years and like, never hit me so hard after seeing it this this yeah. past month. Like, Amber, I got a really random phone call. You want to spill a tea on it? <laughs> All right, guys. So I got this random phone call by an Are You The One couple. I'm not going to say any names because I don't need more drama in my life. Anywho, long story short, um, I went to this club. This girl's man was there, and we were talking about Are You The One, all our season, comparing it, whatever. And obviously if I'm in the club with your man and you're working like and you're giving me bad vibes I'm already thinking like oh she hates me because yeah. her man and I are like talking and whatever yeah the fact that it's being brought up a whole year later and she made her boyfriend call me put me on speaker insecure bitch 
and basically clarify the conversation him and I had a year ago. I haven't had something like this happen to me since high school. I felt this guy so embarrassed on the phone. He, he literally kept apologizing every second. Yeah, I know he, as the phone was ringing, he's like, don't pick up, don't pick up. It's a jersey number. I have, she's like, should I pick up? Um, he's like, yeah. And the crazy part is I've spoken about this situation to a couple of people. I can count on one hand and one of those people had ran their mouth to this person yeah. and kind of like is a friend of hers from her season. A close friend of mine from the season. <laughs> I'm cutting that bitch off. I don't need that negativity in my life. Like if you're my friend, everything I tell you, you shouldn't be going around telling Dick, yeah. Jane, and Harry. And we that 1000% know it was her friend because she just told this to her friend and, and this friend is close with the like girl. Like they just got close to the girl. Yeah, and and how else would they get my number? It just sucks to see like people be so shady. Disappoint you and be shady when you've been there for them since day one. Especially with their toxic ass fucking relationship that I had to hear about hours every day. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to get upset, but this is me being upset and venting about it. Well, you have every right to be upset. Now, shall we start spilling our questions? Yes, we shall. What are some ways to build confidence? The first thing that pops in my mind when I read this, like, I don't know if anyone else does this, but if I'm feeling, like, not confident in a moment, I literally repeat to myself different things, like, you're confident, you're confident, you're a bad bitch, you're this, you're this, you're smart, like, I'll just, like, repeat all these things in my head just to trick myself, like, into not feeling that certain way. Yeah. And I swear, it really works. So, it comes with your self-talk. Yeah. Definitely starts with positive talk. Yeah, I kind of remind myself, you're smart, you're kind, you're beautiful, and you keep reminding yourself about that, then you're good. But also, I like to, you know, post a few pictures and get some little hard eyes in my DMs. That kind of reassures, like, you are a bad bitch. <laughs> yeah, for um, sure. Whatever makes you feel pretty, if it's doing your hair or doing your makeup or putting on, like, a sexy outfit or whatever makes you feel physically attractive do that yeah. do that for yourself and if it's not confidence with physicalness it could be confidence with like work or it could be confidence with school or just social confidence yeah. in general if you like are knowledgeable in whatever it is like for instance if you're going into a speech like practice 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 the more practice you do the more confident you're going to be mm -hmm. if you're going to go for an interview the more you practice your answers for that interview it's yeah. all about being prepared because if you're not prepared you're not going to be confident at all that's actually a big fact if you are not prepared it's not going to go the way you want it to go yeah at all. yeah you you're need to not going to feel secure how is somebody else going to like be confident in what you're saying or doing if you're not confident in yourself. Yeah. No. Also, body language. If you feel yourself like, you know, we all do this, especially if we're like cold or like uncomfortable, like this shows a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You need to be open. Like you need to give direct eye contact, even if you're getting that social anxiety in your head. Kind of like fake it till you make it. I do think of a situation where I'm just like, where's my confidence? Um, it's literally when I'm into a female which is so weird i, I want to impress them so much that i'm just like hi yeah <laughs> but then it's just like i have people who do remind me you are beautiful you're the sweetest person i know anybody would be lucky to have hey welcome to our get to know us challenge mm -hmm. today we are playing we're really not strangers it's just a game to get to know each other on different levels. We're gonna start at level one for this first segment. Level one is perception. Yeah. Okay. All right. What do you think my go-to karaoke song is? I think it may be between Ari or Ja Rule. <laughs> That's fact. I'm gonna say your go-to Ari song will probably be Thank You Next. <laughs> and for Ja Rule, I'm gonna say something with J-Lo in it. I think Thank You Next is like a perfect song to do. Ja Rule is definitely up there too. I thought you were gonna say Demi Lovato. Sorry not sorry. Roll the clip. This is why. <laughs> Just by looking at you, I think you're a conceited bitch. 
Well, you don't want to know what I think about you. <laughs> Show the first photo in your camera roll. Explain. The first photo. Okay. The pictures in here. The first photo is actually of myself. Um, this was three years ago, and this is actually our first time in California together. And this oh. was the first night we went out in California together. It was St. Patrick's Day. We saw the guy who says these nuts. For Lisa loved to say that at one point in her life. Yeah, oh yeah. We were like so hyped. We saw we had the best night. We came with her brother Anthony, but he fell asleep, so it ended up being a girls' night. Okay. Do you think plants thrive or die in my care? Explain. I'm gonna say die. Have all of them. She got all the dead plants, not the living ones. <laughs> Example one. That one I was rooting for. I can't believe it died. Example two. That one was a weak bitch from the beginning. <laughs> she had it coming. But this Maybe one. Give it three. She was my favorite. Like, I don't know why was she, she died. <laughs> <laughs> I think she takes care of her cats a little better. What are some tips on gaining your first 1,000 subscribers. Whoa. I would say be really consistent in posting. Um, Kim and I, we post twice a week. Also, make sure your videos are filled with energy, laughs, um, want to get some type of emotion out of people. Yeah, you like, like people really to feel connected to right. you. And go on a TV show. <laughs> Word, uh, that's kind of how we get <laughs> No, but even before she went on the MTV show, how we gained a lot of subscribers. Well, one, it was like we started with our base, like our family and our friends, and we be made them our fans mm -hmm. first because obviously they want to support us right away. They all reposted us. Obviously, the, the support was a lot stronger when we first started it because at this point, they're like, all right, like, this yeah. is normal, you know? They got but it. But at the beginning, good. like, at day, we're all posting every week and, like, super supportive and we were, we were still always are. Yes. Yeah. Shout out to you, Baba Lou. Some people still, Anthony. yeah. Baba Anthony posts every Sunday. Ashley posts a lot. There, and there's a lot more as well. We're grateful for that. So get your family and friends on board with you. Also, make your, like, YouTube channel look aesthetically pleasing. Have, you know, your your picture and like you know look nice and neat and the mm -hmm. font and the video titles a, a big thing that helped me was going on skillshare skillshare.com slash real it's a three month free subscription they have plenty of youtube classes on there to help you gain subscribers another thing like amber said just being yourself this having your audience connect to you and like relate to you on a personal level and like making them feel your energy through that screen yeah you know without even having to be there making them feel like they're hanging out with you right we actually have a spiller fan slash friend who hit us up the other day and was telling us that she feels so connected mm -hmm. with us she okay. feels like we're friends she's never met us before and I feel the same way too like yeah. when I talk to her I feel like I've met this girl before me while she's in a we whole met her through different, the internet and we yeah, like she's talk in a about different people. country a different time zone yeah. and the way we just have connected with so many people throughout this process. It's amazing, yeah, you know? Yeah. And some like really awesome fans. Yeah. Um, also, another thing that was really fun to help us gain subscribers, we did a giveaway. Yeah. Um, so we gave away a basket for Christmas and a part of the deal was you had to press subscribe and comment and all that stuff. And <gasps> this hat feels like, you know, like- So many names. I know, it's so crazy. I'm sorry for everyone who I didn't call. <laughs> okay, ready? Also, watch other YouTube videos. This was kind of hard for us because we were never people who were into YouTube at all. So we came in like blinded, like not knowing much. And that's why I'm actually really proud of us because we didn't know shit about shit when we started our YouTube channel. All we knew was that we wanted to record ourselves and like post it. We're like, like, there's just like <laughs> so much more. We're still learning mm -hmm. today. Like the learning doesn't stop. See what's trending, see what topics people are doing, what challenges people are doing, what people are interested in, and try to kind of go off of that obviously always do your own twist on it yeah. you don't want to replicate or duplicate anyone else's video you want to be authentic but just try to pick up some keywords and ideas from others yeah I think another thing that's made spill successful is the fact that this is something Kim and I really want to do in life right you know mm -hmm. so I feel like that also plays a big part because 
if we didn't want to do this, I think we would probably be like half-assing. Yeah. In a way, yeah, you know? Yeah, like we enjoy doing it. Yeah. And like, we, this is our job. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. We edit, we record, we film, we have to come up with different ideas. We have to set everything up, we have to put mm -hmm. the lights up. Good lighting, you can even use your iPhone if you really wanted to. As long as that lighting is good, I feel like you're good. And like your background is neat. And yeah. Neat. And also one last thing, maybe like interacting with people oh, yeah. on YouTube, yeah. like commenting on other oh, yeah, YouTubes or you know, just commenting back to people in the comments that's also mm -hmm. yeah a way to gain followers and and have them that. coming back and like feel like yeah. they have a relationship with you for sure just know guys that like if you are getting into youtube don't go into it thinking you're gonna blow up overnight or like even in a year because especially with good youtube channels like it takes time mm -hmm. consistency patience and just faith and not even fave, just knowing that it's all gonna pay off one yep. day. So if you are ch starting a YouTube channel, good luck. Comment below. We will subscribe back and we'll all be friends. Any of it? Yeah, for sure. We're moving to level two. Level two, baby. Let's spice it up. Level two is connection. Press shuffle on your music library. Explain the first song that comes up. Ooh, I like this. Let's see, I hope a good one comes up. <laughs> Make me look bad, Apple Music. And the first one that comes up is... A. Meg the Stallion ain't equal. Let's see. Is there any explanation? It's just I have a, I listened to Meg The Stallion's album and I just downloaded my favorite songs off of her album and that was one of them. It's not one of my top ones, but it's one of them. Okay, if you could have it your way, who would you be with? Where would you be? And what would you be doing? <laughs> okay, I think I can I answer that for you. Go ahead. Give you it. would be with Drake. And you guys will be on a private island, and you guys will be doing it on the beach. <laughs> you know what? I was thinking more of like a yacht, but that's... I thought of a yacht too in my head, and I was like, I don't know, she gets seasick. <laughs> Staring contest. First to blink must reveal a personal problem and ask the partner for advice on how, to, how they might handle it. One, two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What advice do you want from Dr. G? Dr. G, I'm here today because I'm having friendship problems. Okay. And I have friends that think they're a little shady and I don't know what to do. Shady in what way? Shady in a lot of ways. How do I still be someone's friend but not, you know, have that line where they can be super close with me? Why do you still want to be their friend? Then. I don't want to be their friend. So then you don't have to be. Should I let it be known? Shady. I think if you really like care about the friendship or anything, or like you're super hurt by this person, you're surprised, then I would like talk to them about it. But if you're just like you don't even care about dubbing them, then I would just dub them. And then if they like hit you up and they're like questioning, like don't ignore them, I would tell them yeah. what's up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to let them know what's up tonight. <laughs> okay. What are you still trying to prove to yourself? I guess I would say just like other people's opinions don't really have an effect on me, especially if they're not, you know, helping me or providing for me in mm -hmm. any way. As long as I make myself proud, I don't really care mm -hmm. about making anyone else proud, you know? And I don't need anyone else's validation or approval on anything. Preach. Swap seats. <laughs> okay then. Hi. Hello. Okay, what is the last thing you lied to your mother about? <laughs> she watches. Hello, Titi. Oh, damn, I haven't lied to my mom in a long time. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. One time, this was a month ago. I wasn't getting my unemployment. I was living off of my Are You The One money and my mom you know, she was offering to send me money and I didn't want her to send me money and she like kept asking me if I'm okay and everything and like obviously I don't want to make her worry so I was like, yes, but I wasn't okay, I was really broke. <laughs> so I would say that. But mom, I'm okay now, I got food in the refrigerator <laughs> and I'm living. Don't worry, she's gonna call you like, I'm gonna send you the money. 
<laughs> if you could get to know someone in your life on a deeper level, who would it be and why? I'm definitely going to say our grandmother. If you guys don't know me and Amber are cousins, we come from a Puerto Rican grandmother who had 10 children. Now, there's many different myths, legends, and theories about this woman, about her kids, about her baby daddies. I would just love to know her whole life. She actually, like, her mother gave, passed away while giving birth to her, and, like, she was, like, left on the doorstep of her uncle, and, like, she just has, like, a crazy... I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah. She has a crazy life, lots of stories, and she speaks mostly Spanish. Obviously, we speak mostly English, so it's kind of hard to communicate with her. But not only that, she just doesn't want to talk about it, because I've had aunts ask her in front of us yeah. questions, and then she's like, oh, no importa, like, she don't want to talk about it. I just kind of want to know more about her, so I hope one day we could we could find out. We need a lie detector test. Yes. How do I give my honest opinion to my friend about their toxic partner? Sometimes I'm very critical and like, I don't give a f what you're telling me on the other end of the phone. Like my opinion is still in my head and yeah. I'm just like, well, they would have done this if they really are a good person, you know? So recently I've been telling myself like, listen, take your judgments away. Pretend this is not your best friend. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. for a stranger, you wouldn't be like, girl, you're stupid. Yeah, sometimes your friends need that, but sometimes your friends also need like someone not to judge and just listen because I know I have situations where like it could be easily judged and I get like frustrated because they don't know the situation and yeah. I don't want to be that person to not really think about all the details and how it can be from that person's point of view. Try to put yourself in your friend's position and like try to understand them without attacking them. If your friend's in a sensitive spot, try to be sensitive towards them because that's another problem I have. I'll be like, girl, stop being fucking stupid. Like he obviously doesn't like you and like you don't know what position that person's in and yeah. like, you could really hurt their feelings. Yeah, I totally agree with you on that. And I feel like it's more of how you say things and what yeah. you say, you know? Sure. I agree with Kim. I'm that type of friend that even though I know you're being so dumb with your toxic person, I'm not gonna make you feel dumb, mm -hmm. but I'm also just gonna leave you with some like opinions and some advice. I just want everyone to feel comfortable with me. And all my friends tell me, like they love talking to me, they love venting to me because I don't judge them for the position that they're in so I just think you've got to communicate be be honest of course but just is more of how you say things yeah like you said you don't want your friends to be like uncomfortable coming to you again or feel like they have to lie to you because they know you're judging them and they think you're stupid for being with this toxic partner yeah so you want to make them comfortable enough to come back but I have been in situations where like it's been the same situation over and over and over and over again and at that point I'm wasting my breath and now you're disrespecting me because like you're making me give my advice and my empathy time. <laughs> my time my feelings because if you're hurting I'm hurting for you mm -hmm. and you're just like not listening to what I say and yeah. you're making me feel stupid at that point so if it gets to that point that's when you have every right to be like girl you're stupid I got nothing left to say to you yeah it's a I, balance it is a balance we are on level three and level three is reflection Ooh. sorry Tokyo she's like these bitches keep throwing cards <laughs> What do you think our most important simmer, similar I can't even say similarity it. similarity is? That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, I'll go first. I think sure. I would say our energy. I would definitely say our energy. Our energy is so welcoming, and we can read each other's minds. We can feel what each other's feeling, what each other's thinking. Just look at each other and say something. Give each other a look, and we already know what's the dealio. Word. Do you believe everyone has a calling? If so, do you think I found mine? Um, I do think everyone has a calling. I do think you are still young and can probably find another one. Mm -hmm. But at this moment, I think you are pursuing your calling. You, know? you are putting yourself out there, YouTube channel, in California, you're happy, so. Right, I agree, I agree. How would you describe me to a stranger? Um, yeah, you should like check out my cousin. She's really cool, really chill, super sweet, um, down to earth. <laughs> wow! <laughs> really pretty, super like petite, sexy, cute. 
Um, she loves Harry Potter. She's like a tomboy. She loves sports. And yeah, she's just chill. You love Harry Potter? <laughs> That was really nice, damn. Maybe I should give you a couple people's numbers. <laughs> Wild card, take a selfie together. Oh my Do god, it. when was the last time we took a selfie? I don't know. We should post it on Spill. Yeah, let's do it. Um, Save it, it, but just in case, we can probably take another. But my neck is a little invisible, so we're going to have to do that again. <laughs> um, I think one more time. Not crazy about it. Should we try over there? <laughs> no, I don't like me smiling. All right guys, this is picture number five, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm liking this better. What do you think? I like it. I don't, I don't hate it. What do you guys think? Should we post it? Is that a thirst trap? Do we look bad? Play up. Uh, around the rock, paper, scissor, winner can ask their partner anything, loser must answer. Do you want a rematch, Fetch? Is it, can we just do it one time? Guys, check out our last vlog we'll s and go see who lost the rock, paper, scissors. Is this redemption right here? I think so. Right? Rock, paper, scissors, say shoot. Again, she loses. Anything. Run still. Who was the girl who called you? <laughs> The girl who called me. Was... What did her name start with? Her name started with an N. If you guys are wondering who we're talking about, go back in the beginning of the episode where she talks about the phone call she gets calling her about liking her man. I don't want your man, cause I got it like that. But it ain't even gotta be like that. <laughs> what is one thing you think I can do that would dramatically improve my life? What? Dramatically improve? Huh? Let me know, please. Um, maybe those nails and toes. <laughs> Absolutely. I like that answer. And don't forget the eyebrows. <laughs> okay, what can we create together? We are already creating something right now together, and that's content. <laughs> How do our personalities complement each other? We're like very much similar, but we're also Different. opposite yeah. at the same time. Our souls are similar, but like, she's a tomboy, I'm a girly girl, she's like known to be like more out there, out there. I'm more reserved. Can't you tell by her outfits? Yeah. <laughs> Can't you tell by her Halloween costumes, angel, devil, you guys get the point. Can't you tell by her relationship status? <laughs> Last one! Give your partner a compliment they don't hear enough. Hmm. I think she hears compliments all day in her DMs. I'm going to not give her a physical compliment. Thank you. I'm going to give her an emotional compliment. That you're really strong and that you are... I'm gonna say that you're like really strong emotionally, what you've been through in life, and you're perseverant and you have like endurance because you overcome anything. Thank you. And you're resilient because you always bounce back. I literally feel like you could do anything as well because you. Like, you believe in yourself so much. Thank so you. and you can manifest things because we're witches. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this awesome episode. Hope you guys got to know us a little more. And we also hope you guys enjoy our vlogs for the next couple of weeks. We will be back with these episodes. Yeah. Um, keep up with us on our Instagram page at spill3 with three L's. And we will be seeing you guys soon. We love you. We will be back with an all new episode soon. But and don't forget, don't forget to like 